Hi, I'm Pragya Kushwaha. I work as a UI developer at SpiceJet. I come from Lucknow. As a child, I have always been ambitious. Since childhood, I had several aspirations and the most prominent was to become a scientist. And that's how I ended up being in biotech. Education to me is not about scoring marks. To me, it is like come across the topic, go through it, understand the concept, what it is actually talking about, what it's really trying to teach you and how you can put that into a real world. So that was how I used to learn things. But this didn't work well with biotech because in biotech, everything was new and it was more of theoretical. I have to memorize a lot of stuff. I wanted to quit and I shared this thing with my parents but they were not thrilled about it. So I understand where it's coming from but without doing much thinking into that, I decided to continue with the subject. It was during COVID that I had extra time to reflect on how the things are going on with my life. And I also wanted to explore things which are not part of my daily routine. And coding was something that came to my mind in the first place. I ended up finding free learning materials over the internet. I was reminded of my days in 11th and 12th grade, where I enjoyed solving these coding problems. And that's how everything started. And I found that web development would be the right choice for me to go ahead with the transition from biotech to CS or IT field. looking for a platform that could offer me with the right set of information and keep me in par with the candidates who have already earned a bachelor's degree in computer science. Secondly, I was looking for a platform that would offer me right placement opportunities. So I found that Cryo has all these and also it's one of the few platforms that offer transitioning opportunities, whether they are coming from biotech, arts, physics. So background is not a barrier here. technologies or the languages that are being taught to us. It starts from the zero level, the beginner's level to the advanced level. At any point if you feel stuck, I was provided with live Q&A sessions and other one-to-one -one sessions where you can raise queries, ask for questions and they are there to help you out. So I did try all of those and there were moments where I was stuck, there were moments where I felt that I won't be able to make it. During those times, I remembered the line said by Ejo Sir during the class. Like He once said that never doubt yourself depending on your background. Like Never think that you cannot compete with people who already had bachelor's degree in CS. You're as capable as them. So just work hard and make sure that you're upskilling yourself and the rest will be taken care of. Cryo has entire one sprint dedicated to interview. So in that sprint, you're given more than enough information that's required about preparing yourself for the interviews. Cryo curriculum also has mock interviews, which will help you identify your weak areas or the concepts that you do not have a clear idea of. So that mock interview also helped me in getting myself ready for the interviews, opportunities that are on the way. Honestly, I was very happy when I got selected into SpiceJet and it was my hard work, the nine months of journey with Cryo, the DSA prep, mock interviews, live Q&A sessions, everything paid off and I was happy to see how my journey goes from here. I want to thank Cryo for everything that they do for their learners. To the future developers of Cryo, I would say never give up on yourself and never give up on your dream as well. There will be moments you will feel overwhelmed. so. Just take a pause. You shouldn't get into that spiral zone or shouldn't yield to the negativities. Just keep that piece of advice in your mind. Rest with regard to concept. Ask as many questions as possible. Even you feel that your questions are dumb, go ahead and ask because your mentors are always there to help you. My aim currently is to learn as a fresher as much as possible from people around. In the next five years, I would see myself being a rock star developer. <laughs>